Hi, welcome to Learning Monkey. I am Raghu here. In this class, we will discuss about attacks on RSA signature scheme. In our last class, we clearly discussed about what RSA uh, signature scheme means. So please watch that class and come back here. The link for the playlist is provided in the description below. Coming to today's class, our first attack is key only attack. Is it possible to get a key only attack? by using RSA signature? No, it is not possible. Why it is not possible? Because key only attack means uh, here in RSA we are generating private key and public key. Public key is open to all. By using that public key, is it possible to identify the signature scheme standards or is it possible to identify the private key? No, it is not possible because it is a logarithmic problem. This discussion we already made when we discussed about the RSA asymmetric key cryptography systems. Please watch that classes. So it is not possible. Key only attack is not possible. Now coming to the next attacks that are possible on digital signature are known message attack. This is very much similar to the known plain text attack which we discussed in cryptography means encryption stages. Here we call it as known message attack. Because RSA is having a multiplicative property, it is possible to have a known message attack. So what's that multiplicative property? Let's try to understand what's known message attack means. Suppose if you are having access to message signature pairs. Suppose two message signature pairs are available for you. M1, S1, M2, S2. These are the message signature pairs. So now you can apply multiplicative property on this. What's multiplicative property means if m equal to the new message which you are going to generate m equal to m1 multiplied by m2 mod n. Then signature is going to be s is equal to s1 multiplied by s2 mod n. This is possible. Why this is possible? Let's understand the derivation. And uh, this is possible only if you are if he is using the same private key for both the messages for both the message and signature pairs see why let's watch this multiplicative property take signature s is equal to s1 multiplied by s2 s1 means first signature s2 means second signature mod n s1 can be written as m1 power d this discussion made in our previous classes when we discussed about RSA signature scheme. M1 power D multiplied by M2 power D mod N. This can be written as M1 multiplied by M2 whole power D mod N. M1 multiplied by M2 means M. If this is, this can be possible. M power D mod N. Which you are going to get the signature. Yes, the new signature you are going to get. So that's why this is known plain text attack. We can we can now we by taking this new m value and new signature value, we can send this to the anyone acting it as you are the owner of this message and signature pair. So that's why <coughs> it is possible. Known uh, multiplicative property, multiplicative property of RSA, known message attack is possible. But you need to understand here. Taking two messages M1 and M2, you are generating, you are multiplying it and you are getting a new message which is M. But you need to think about it. Uh, is it a valid message? Are you getting a valid message? No, it is not possible to get a valid message by multiplying. This we call it as existential forgery technique. Means you are not going to get the valid message. Here you, there is not a possible way to get a valid message. So that's why this is existential forgery, which is not effective much because it is not valid. But the next one, coming to the next one, chosen message attack. Is it possible? Yes, because of this multiplicative property, it may possible. If chosen message means you need to have access to the person who is going to sign the message. If you have that access, you can choose a message and get a sign from him. Suppose if you are a lawyer for a businessman, 
you may plan that. So, so chosen message attack. There is a possible way there you may find two messages by multiplying that you may get a valid message. That is how you may plan some messages and get it signed from the person and you can use that. This is what we call it as chosen message attack. Because of multiplicative property, it is it may possible. So that's why these are the two message attacks that are possible on RSA signature. But how come how to overcome this? You know, first classes we already discussed that uh, instead of signing a message, just do the signature on the message digest. So if if this is done, message digest, signing on message digest, these attacks are not possible. How? You need to understand that in our next class we are going to discuss about what happens, what type of attacks you are going to get if you sign on a message digest using RSA signature scheme. Hope you understand this class. If you have any questions regarding the concept, please post your questions in the comment section below. Thanks for watching. If you haven't subscribed to our channel, please subscribe to our channel and press bell icon for the latest updates. Thank you.